All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to install the shareable Halo um, onto your avatar. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have all the prerequisite assets listed on the product page, whether that's on your gumroad or booth. Right, as we're talking about prerequisites, make sure you have these important to your project. The shader doesn't really matter if you're switching out the Halo, use whatever you want. But make sure you have this avatar manager imported. Um, you can do it by going to the link that's provided, copy paste, or click on the hyperlink, select releases here, and then download the latest Unity package. Or if you have VCC, you could use that. If you don't know what that is, then don't worry about it. Um, so anyway, after that's imported, then then import my package. Find navigate to the folder called that package stuff, shareable Halo, and then find the shareable Halo system prefab right here. Take it and drag it into your scene in the empty area in the hierarchy, and then let go. Right click it and press unpack prefab, and then go ahead and drag it on top of your avatar. Open up its hierarchy by clicking on the gray triangle to the left of it. Oh, click on the gray triangle to scale fix, and then click on Halo container. Hold your shift key and then click on container, and then pay attention to the scale constraint here and this empty uh, source. You're gonna go ahead and find the name of your avatar or the root of your avatar and drag it into that slot, just like that. Then go ahead and open up the Halo container hierarchy. And now this is going to be the part where you customize or put whatever object you want um, to replace the halo with. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into my scene now. Um, this is just the free one I found, right? Um, so if you like the way that one looks, you can find it here by this person, right? Magenta, 3D model, blah, 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 cool, right? Um, so now what you're going to do is take your halo and put it into the halo container or your object and then once it's there make sure that it's zeroed out on the transforms here so set this zero and then this is offset higher so i'm just going to change that here okay and looking good so now it's aligned fairly well with the original halo um at this point you could also go ahead and move it up and down if you really want um you could tilt it if you want to be on like an angle Right, or you could scale it to make it uh, bigger and smaller, right here. Um, I'm not going to be using this for the rest of the tutorial, but same as that process. Um, once that's done, go ahead and find the default placement object here. And in your armature, you're going to go ahead and open it up to your uh, neck, your head bone, right? So you're going to take that default placement object, and you're going to drag it on top of your neck bone. And then what you're going to do is in the inspector, after you select default placement, you're going to find this parent constraint here. And you're going to take your head bone and use it as the source. And then press the zero button a couple times. And Halo should go up into your head pretty much. And then open up the default placement hierarchy, right? Click on Halo head target. And you're going to go ahead and move this up um, just to where you see the Halo where you want to be on your avatar. Once um, it is there, you could go ahead and um, I'm going to scroll down to the Halo container here. And we're going to enable our gizmos, which you could do up here. Just click gizmos, and you'll see this yellow circle up here, right? Um, and now you want to make sure that this circle encapsulates your Halo. So for me, I'll say maybe this is a bit too big. I'll do 0.3, or 0.13. All right, and I'll say that's good. Um, so this is pretty much just like supposed to be... Um, your it should be a bit bigger than the halo right this is kind of how you see here um after that you go ahead and click on default placement again and you'll notice um this object here uh, it's like this is supposed to encapsulate your head um so what you could do here is just uh um use these position offsets or whatever to then move it up and down a little bit so that it covers your whole head like this and then also adjust the size if you need to um, then once that's in, you go ahead and open up the VR Labs Avatar Manager. Click on the VR Labs Avatar Manager. Drag your avatar into this empty slot here. Open up the FX tab. Scroll down to the bottom and then press Add Animator to Merge. And then I'm going to go ahead and navigate back to the Shibble Halo folder. Find the Halo FX controller and then drag it into this empty slot here. Scroll down to the bottom again, and make sure that all of these boxes have nothing in them. If you're installing this a second time because you messed up or something, you'll have a zero or spaces or something in there. So just make sure that you delete those and then press merge on current. 
after that, click on this parameters one uh, window tab thing here. Take the halo parameter asset and drag it into the slot there. And then press copy parameters. And then click on WD. And you're going to go to the FX section. And you'll notice it's the FX section because this is FX in the top left corner of the box. And you're going to pay attention to whether or not there's a bunch of check marks here. If there are check marks, then when you go up to the top, you're going to press set WD on. If there are no check marks, so for me, I don't have check marks, right? I'll press set WD off. And go ahead and exit out of this. Click on your avatar again. Go down to your expression menu. Open it up. Add a control wherever you want. I'm going to call this Halo Toggle. I'll click this white circle to the right of the icon, type in Halo, and select that for my image, change the type to a toggle, and then I'm going to click on parameter and select Halo system, enable. After that, um, that's the entire installation done. There's actually one more thing you want to do. Um, new hierarchy, go to shareable Halo system, um, and you're going to find the Halo container here, click it, and then just disable this game object. If you have any questions or issues, feel free to contact me on Discord at Death Mom. Um, and I hope you enjoy it and have fun.